So, Shannon, how much better do you expect Luca to beat tomorrow night? I expect him to play well, Skip. I really do. Skip, we, I think we've all slept wrong, had a crook in our neck. And if you work a regular nine to five, people will just look at you and like, man, why you, why you walking like that? Why you t- can't turn your head all the way around? <laughs> man, I slept wrong, got a little crook in my neck. But it won't stop you from doing the, your day-to-day task. But if you're a professional athlete and you sleep wrong, uh, it can be tedious. I've had it happen to me. And boy, that, you know, trying to turn your neck suddenly when you got that crooked, you know, mm. it don't work properly. So I think with the 48 hours of rest, some therapy, some uh, some treatment. He's going to be feeling a lot better. I expect him to play a lot better, but it's still, it's not going to, Luca. We saw Luca good, 44, 9, and 9. Tell me what Tim Hardaway Jr. is going to do. Tell me what Finney Smith is going to do. What is Kleber going to do? If Porzingis is going to give you something, or is he just going to stand out by the three-point line and try to shoot threes at seven foot three? Somebody need to tell Porzingis, you're seven three, not six three. You need to be a little closer to the basket, not further away from the basket. Tell me what those guys are going to do, because I'm not concerned about Luka. Luka will get his, and when they bring the double team, as he starts to get closer to the rim, he will find the open guy. Can Hardaway Jr. knock down shots like he did in the first two games? Like Kleber did in the first game? Like Finney Smith knocked down in the first game? Mm -hmm. Or are they going to struggle, clank, clank, clank? You know, between the three of them, they had, what, 10 points, 12 points on on, um, the other day. So for me... I'm not concerned about Luca. Luca would be just fine. Mm. I'm worried about the others. It's not Luca that needs to be worried. And I believe Luca will be just fine because he was always just no, fine. No, it wasn't. Stop that. You saw the man with that kinesio tape on his neck. It's called prop. No, oh, it don't prop. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm no, sorry. It's not not a Look, prop. I don't know what goes on inside a man's body, but I got to tell you, right on schedule, the guy you call Baby Bird, yeah, which is so offensive to me because he's not a tough guy. Just when it, the, the tables had turned and he, high basketball IQ, he started to sense it was going south. The next thing I know, he's got a big heat sleeve over his right shoulder. Yeah. You know, oh, try to keep it crick loose. in my neck. I got a crick in my neck. And then the crick continues right on where it's starting to really bother him in game four as it goes farther and farther south. And they score fewer and fewer points. The, the best stat right now this, this whole series is over the last seven quarters, they were all played yeah. in Dallas at American Airlines. Mm-hmm. The Dallas Mavericks have averaged 22 points a quarter. Do yeah. the math. No. That would be 88 for a game, right? Right. right. <sighs> Okay, that's not very good, but I'm just not buying that all of a sudden he had some crick in his neck or something. He had a neck strain, and then I I was, I I just rolled my eyes yesterday. What's all you buying? Chris Paul was injured? Yeah. Why? Because he's a tough guy. Luke has just never been a tough guy. Have you ever seen anybody whine to officials more than this guy does? I'm sorry, I haven't. I'll superstar be whining. You you have the audacity to call him Baby Larry Bird. Are you kidding me? Close. And this guy, nobody front runs and giggles and laughs and chuckles after he makes a three. And You're too small. Not in my house. <laughs> and finally, the Clippers, who do have a backbone, finally said, you know what? We're not going to take your stuff anymore. Okay. Watch this. We'll, we'll see tonight. Okay. Well, it's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Okay. okay. Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Well, I agree with you because even though I don't believe that Luke is a tough guy, I do believe he's a gifted guy because – even though he's not much of a shooter, he's a 33% career three-point shooter, and he's turned into an abominable free-throw shooter yeah, he, in he, this series. Yeah, he's terrible. He's, he's usually, <laughs> he's terrible he's usually 70%, that. but right now, what is he? Like in the low 40s? 13 of 32. He's 40.6% so far, and he's been really clanking them in the fourth quarter. But I do expect him to bounce back. I, I don't think that it was any – maybe it was a, a little injury, but it wasn't a big injury. The thing that got hurt – for, for Luca in Dallas was his pride. His pride got injured because all of a sudden the Clippers said, no more. We're not going to take this. Well, anymore. Skip, you know, when you're dealing with a basketball player, anything that, that that's dealing with that's upper body related can throw off his shot. OK, it could. So now he's going to be back to 100 percent coming back for game they didn't five. Say that. They said he's feeling better. He's improved. He'll be 100 <laughs> percent. He, he might have been 92 <laughs> percent. OK, so the point is. They shot the lights out they at did. Staples. I have never seen anything like Gonna do it again. The, the, the shooting display. It was a fireworks display. It was like Roman candles. What about the way I you guys shot at America their line? Look at Kawhi. It, it wasn't Kawhi. a three-point shooting contest. Kawhi missed eight shots over two okay, games. Well, that's layups and dunks. It's still he put his head down and got to the bucket.
Well, watch That's Luca. how you do it. Watch Luca tonight. Okay. I mean tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Well, well, I d- I will watch because I think he's going to have a big bounce back I do game. Too. And even though he's not much of a three point shooter or a free throw shooter, I will give you this: he is a gifted scorer. Mm-hmm, yeah. He, he he gets you forty because he's got all those Euro hesitation right. moves. And I, I got to tell you, even though he looks like he's carrying a couple extra pounds, he it is. works. It works because he plays strong in the lane. It's like Marcus Morris. He is a man. He is a man's man. Marcus Morris can't keep him from the rim. He backs him down, backs him down. Kawhi can't keep him. Paul George, none of those guys can keep him. Batum. Batum's a really good high-level defender, but they can't keep him from the rim with all of his herky-jerky Euro steps. He's going to get to the free throw line, even if he's only going to make half of them. But the point is, you watch, you'll score 40. Now, to your point, what's going to happen with the rest of them? Right. And what's going to happen to the Clippers? Are, are they going to be able to come back and, and seize, re-seize home court advantage? Because they have not shown me that they can win a game in this series at home. And I think they got some home court demons to d- d- defeat tomorrow night. Well, Dallas can't go 5 or 30 from 3 like well, they no. did in game 4. Okay, but look what they were coming, yeah. coming at, at, through the first three games. They were 51%. You know, first three games, they made, 50, they made 53s. <laughs> okay. Well, 55 threes, as okay. a matter of fact. 55 threes. Yeah. That they finished 18th in three-point shooting. Right. And I kept telling you, even last Friday, I said, it's got to revert to the norm. You know, they got to come back down in somewhere in the middle. And they came all the way down to 5 of 30. Well, they came all the way down to the bottom. So can we get okay. back to the middle? Well, it will. <laughs> you know and I know it will get to the middle. Can the Clippers play the brand of basketball defensively that they played twice at right. Dallas under extreme pressure right. with a crazed sellout crowd? I told you it's featuring Michael Irvin and Dak Prescott right. and a – cavalcade of stars right and the Clippers just shut them down man right. well can they go home and do this again because the crowd's not going to be the same at at Staples obviously well the thing is Skip again Hardaway one for eight four points Finney yep. Smith eight points Kleber had zero points yeah so you had three guys in the starting lineup mm-hmm. that gave you 12 points that's not nearly enough that's why the game got out of hand now even on the uh the other night Friday night Luca was 44 99 but Hardaway Finney Smith and Cleveland did not have great game shooting. Mm-hmm. That's why they were able to get back into the ball game. Now, I believe Carlisle probably should have rolled Luka the hot hand. Let's try to push this to 30 because they end the half and it's 34-30. And you had at one point in time, you had a 30-11 lead. 30-11. to 11. Think about what the Clippers, you want to talk about coming back from the quote-unquote dead? Right. because they, were, they were, were down 30 to 11 and down 0-2 in the series at Dallas? They got them. Carlisle had them. I, I've never go seen for the knockout. Like it. You let them get the standing eight count. Don't let them catch their breath. Go for Go uh, the breath, go for the knockout. But I expect Luca to play better. He had a little crick in his neck, crick, whatever you want to call it, Skip. It's better now. I got he, had a, high... he had a crick in his neck. Yeah, he got yeah. that. You know, it hurt. Man, why you turn like that? You know, you slept wrong. Mm. You had it happen. Don't pretend like you hadn't had I that have. happen. So. I'm Who dealing with it said. right now. I've got it. So well, y'all, y'all, y'all here. That's how y'all next going to be. Y'all next going to be looking here. like this and the three is falling. Okay, so wait, are you predicting Luka. Dallas will win game five? Hey, we're going to talk about it tomorrow. Oh, we're going to talk about it tomorrow. So you tomorrow? have a night to sleep on yep, it and yep, yep, sweat it. Yep. Okay. Sweep on it. Hopefully Luca just sleeps a little bit better. I think it's just stress he's dealing with with this neck. It'll be fine. He's, he's just feeling a lot of tension. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.